Hi, I'm Greg from RV Haulers. In this video, I want to show you folks some sound dampening we're doing to this RV hauler to reduce a little bit of the cabin noise. These trucks start out being really quiet already, but I, we have a customer that's asked us to make it super quiet. I want to show you inside the sleeper what we're doing to this RV hauler. Obviously, we have been taking a lot of components out of the sleeper of this truck and I'll take you inside now and show you what this thing looks like. This is the RV hauler named Maverick and this was owned previously uh, by another couple. They finished their travels with it and we are getting it ready for Sue and Joe. And it's going to be delivered to Georgia in a few weeks. And we're doing a number of things to it, customizing it exactly for Sue and Joe's needs. I'm going to show you some of those other things um, in a moment. We're going to show you a powder coated drum box. We're going to show you a really cool mouse uh, moose bumper. I'm also going to show you some other camera modifications that we're doing. But this one is one that you haven't seen before. So what Spencer has done is he's completely gutted the front half of this truck, actually gone into the sleeper component a fair bit. And what we're installing is this. We've got 64 square feet of butyl sound dampening systems. So the adhesive gets pulled off the back and this gets put into every nook and cranny of the sleeper. I'll show you what it looks like when it's installed. What we've done is we've removed every panel inside this RV hauler as well as the seats, the flooring, even the door cards. So these were all pulled off. And what Spencer has done, these are back on, but this whole door surface was installed with the sound deadening system. So Spencer is going to take these pieces. Um, he's cut them out just how do you cut them, Spencer? Oh, just an X-Acto knife or scissors. Yeah. Yeah. And he's created some pieces to go fit in. So the adhesive has been removed. And we want to cover every nook and cranny. And of course, all of these surfaces are different shapes, right? They're curved and lumpy and bumpy. And what's really important is to roll them. So we've got a few different sized applicators. We gotta get this stuck down and adhere to every curvy surface. If you look there are lots of curvy surfaces in these RV haulers. So we've got the kill mats put up even into some of the other panels that go up onto the firewall. Um, the doghouse has been removed here. And that's been applied to. Very well applied to. Very well applied to, Sir Spencer. Very covered. All right, there's another one. So Spencer, any other tips or tricks you'd really recommend people do before they put this matting down? Uh, it's use a degreaser and just try and get it uh, as clean as possible. Yeah. No dust, you know. I mean, it says you can use a heat gun as well. Um, I didn't really need it because it was pretty, pretty hot and pretty, pretty warm. Yeah, <laughs> but heat if needed, and then it's easy to just cut it around stuff like this. Like after I roll it, I'll just give it a little slice. Why 
don't you show us the different sizes of rollers you've got there? I got a, what is this, half by an eighth, uh, half by, one and a half by an eighth, and, uh, that's not right. I think this is about a one and a, one and like a half, a one I think this half. is a one inch, That's yeah. a one inch wide. So yeah, that one does the really big flat surfaces, but this one, pretty good for getting into... Uh, yeah, I like this one because it's not as sharp. Oh, yeah? So for stuff like this, it won't tear it. But I do try and hand press it on first before rolling it. Try and get it as level as possible. As you can see, Spencer's right at the last final stages. Um... I'll show you that dog house. So that, there's some of our panels. It'll go on the dash. There, we even took the time to cover those. Dog house and insulation will be taken care of. That's going inside to cover the engine. And obviously, there's a lot of reassembly to be done to put this truck back together. Hey, let me show you some of the other things we're doing to this RV hauler. Now, hey, if you find this interesting, uh, please give me a thumbs up. It helps other people find our channel. You know, we're just a really small business and we appreciate everything you can do to help us grow our business. The other favor that I would ask is if you have time, would you subscribe to my channel? If you want to see more of these videos, hit the subscribe button and also the bell beside it. And that'll give you a notification when we post some new videos. And I know it takes time. I don't want to take it away from your, your video watching here, so maybe we'll just wait 10 seconds while you do that. Go ahead. Uh, we, we can wait. Spencer's going to turn the truck on. Do it. I don't need to go run the We're all good? Yeah. Right on. It's so on. thank you for hitting that, that subscribe button. One of the other things we're doing is we've put side view cameras into the camera system that was already integrated into this truck. Let me show you what we see on the dash. So this camera system is our favorite. This is the cab cam system, and we take the effort to actually flush mount this right into the dash. So it's going to be going right, right into that opening flush mount. That bottom will fold in, of course. But Spencer's got it on the side view camera right now. You can see what that looks like. All right. Adjust it too. Something we've been doing for years too is we do custom decals. So many times our customers are pulling beautiful fifth wheels, whether it's a Lux or a New Horizons or a spacecraft or some of the really cool toy haulers that are out there. And what we like to do is we will put decals on the side of the, tr the RV hauler to kind of tie the rig together. We'll take maybe a lightning bolt or a fish hook or whatever it is, a swoop off of the coach and we'll duplicate that on the RV hauler. We do all of our own graphics work, so we'll work with our customers, we'll do web conferences where I'll bring up an image myself, and we'll change and rotate and twist and resize the decals to match the coach. Now, this was a previous customer's RV hauler, so what Spencer's been doing is we've been removing the decals off of this, and we're going to be applying um, a new design. So Sue and Joe have their Lux built. We've got the graphics and together we're going to be designing a new graphics package. It's always exciting to see whether we get it. Oh, fail. It was doing good. We always like to get it in one big piece, but sometimes if there's a little so nick, a little tiny mark, and we don't heat it up enough, it doesn't work straight again. So it's a bit of a fine art to get just the right amount of heat on there so that... The hardest color of vinyl. Yeah, they, they, yeah. Red was the worst. There, there's three colors on here and they were different qualities. The black and the gray worked really good, but this red one has been a real bear. And it's a bit of an art to get just the right amount of heat so that the decal doesn't 
come apart. See, when you got the camera running, that's when it doesn't work. They jinxed you. All the YouTube folks are like waiting with bated breath. Spencer, is it going to work? I don't know. I don't know. Might be here a little while. That's what editing is for. Oh, we'll come back later. While Spencer is uh, grimacing over there, <laughs> I'll show you some of the other things that we're doing. You will notice that a bumper is missing. Come with me. We're going to go out in the yard. You're getting your exercise right from the comfort of your chair. That is a powder coated paint matched moose bumper. Sorry, there's a little bit of dust on here just from some rain that we've had. Let me tell you what we've done here. What happens over time is these moose bumpers, they get a little bit of road rash, right? They get some oncoming traffic. We'll throw gravel and sand and stuff at the front surfaces and they're not always shiny anymore. This is aluminum. What we've done is we have gently soda blasted or sand blasted this bumper and then powder coat primed etched and powder coated it a white to match the truck this is going to be installed on the truck let's go walk some more come here come with me if you watched the earlier video on maverick you'll know that we had a super sized megadrom on the back of maverick so this extra tall, extra deep drum box was on there, but it was so big, we couldn't fit a smart car. So what my customers, Sue and Joe, have asked is that we change that drum box out to a little bit less deep drum box. This one is 16 inches deep. And that one again, powder coated to match the truck is going to be installed on the back of the truck. Let me show you what it'll be, where it'll be on Maverick. Oh, we're really putting on the miles today. Let's go back in the shop. I got it. Did you get it? Yeah, I got it. Oh, you got it. Okay. That's a bunch of glue behind, but... So, what'll happen next is, you can see we've got a lot of the adhesive left on here. Um, I'll show you on the other side what it looks like. We'll get the adhesive off, and then we're also going to do a cut and polish to make sure that there's no remnants left. So here we are on the driver's side. This is a side that Spencer has already finished. So all the adhesive has been removed, and it also, after we're done, there is no ghosting left. I don't know if you've ever seen somebody take a decal off before. They'll peel it off, and you look at just the right light, at the right angle, and you'll still be able to see a little shadow of it up there. Not in this case. We know how to take care of that clear coat and that paint so that there's nothing left, and when we put the new decals on, she's gonna look good. Okay, back to the drum box discussion. So the drum box used to extend out past the back of these fairings quite a bit. Now when I first designed this bed I made sure that we thought about that in a future possibility so when we removed the drum box everything was in place so that we could still load a smart car so the drum box that you saw that white one is going to go right to the back of these fairings and we'll be able to fit a smart car on here the other thing that we've done is because this was a I'll call it a used RV hauler we soda blasted the top of the bed and we gave it a fresh coat of bed liner all the way across the top and then sealed it with a commercial grade black paint. So that's adhered right into the porosity of the bed liner so that this washes or power washes really well. And it stands up to the UV as well. So over time, the sunlight doesn't fade or make the bed liner chalky in appearance. Something else eagle eye, attention to detail, 
Mr. Customizer Spencer, also we, we uh, masked off the ET hitch and Spencer, so this got blasted as well, primed, bed liner, paint, uh, of course the hitch surface, uh, we didn't put bed liner on, that's got commercial paint on it, but just really trying to make things look fresh, shiny, you can see even the wheel wells were done fresh again. This is going to be ready for new owners pretty shortly. Thank you, thank you, thank you for hanging out with Spencer and I today in the shop, showing you some of the things we're doing to customize this truck. If you have any questions about RV haulers, please pose them in the, down below in the comments section. That's how I learn what you folks would like to see in our RV hauler built. Well, we'll start to uh, put all this back together and we look forward to delivering this RV hauler to our Georgia customers real soon.